That is, if you consider the situation of human rights in the world, I think it's dreadful in, in many parts of, of the world. Uh, but of course, uh, even if the general uh, uh, picture is dreadful, you, you have pockets of, of progress. I, I think uh, if, you, if you consider, for instance, uh, Latin America, I, I think that if you just compare the period of the authoritarian dictatorships, authoritarian regimes, we, we had uh, an enormous progress uh, in terms of the rights of the child, the rights of the woman, uh, the uh, criminalization of uh, races making us uh, the afro descendants uh, uh, i think that uh, uh, it, it you can it, it's, it's it's very difficult to have a generalization how is the situation of the human rights in the world on the other hand if you consider the mechanism i just see progress because you have to consider that the human rights commission has barely uh, 50 years uh, and uh, Everything is new. 50 years, but uh, uh, considering when the first special rapporteur was appointed, 79, 79. Then you have uh, you have around uh, uh, 50 years on, on that, and uh, all the other mechanisms, the uh, the new treaty bodies, uh, the new conventions. The uh, the last uh, uh, 20 years is a sort of uh, specialization of the human rights uh, uh, fields. Uh, you have more experts. Uh, there was the reform of the Commission on Human Rights. Uh, and the Human Rights Council has uh, interesting uh, 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 mechanisms now, like the Universal Periodic Review, for instance. Uh, the creation of the, um, the Office of the High Commission for Human Rights. Uh, that is, then I, I think that being a realist, I think that we see problems. There are, there are a lot of problem, uh, problems. The, the budget is ridiculous, that now is something uh, uh, around 3% uh, of the regular budget of the UN, that is, is, is really uh, very limited. But in, but in any way, and you, yeah, we have also not uh, to look uh, towards the um, international organizations or states, but you have the NGOs, civil society all over the world uh, uh, is very much present. In, in, uh, Inclusive inside the the UN uh, mechanism, then I I, I see uh, I see uh, the situation as positive in terms of the possibilities uh, to uh, to fight for uh, uh, the, the respect uh, the implementation of uh, human rights conventions etc. Nevertheless, if we look at Syria, it's very depressing. So uh, sorry. I ask you about a. Isn't it, uh, what does it mean, you know, the fact that international organizations and institutions have not been able to tackle the crisis uh, in Syria? Uh, Kofi Annan used to say that the United Nations are the member states. Uh, then there is a, a diplomatic failure, a complete diplomatic failure by the permanent members, to begin by the permanent members, that they are the most responsible for the 4 million, uh, uh, 4 million refugees, uh, 7 uh, million uh, internally displaced, the radicalization of, uh, of uh, the fight of the military situation, it's extremely complex. Second, the other uh, reason, the second reason, is that you have an ambivalence. Uh, you have, uh, uh, by the main countries in the region and uh, in Europe, and the United States in terms, at the same time, they continue saying that only a, a political solution, but at the same time, it's a proxy war, because uh, every, uh, every country involved uh, in, uh, in this struggle or is uh, financing uh, uh, the government and, uh, or the, the non-state armed groups. Uh, I, I, I don't think that is a mission impossible uh, to uh, to finish the war, but uh, a lot of opportunities were missed, and uh, uh, of course you you have to put some responsibility on the shoulders of uh, the government of Syria, President Assad. That in the beginning, uh, the reaction to sort of very small mobilizations was very violent. It was uh, it was terrible in terms of uh, the the repression, the torture, the uh, the detention, uh, but. Uh, 
I, I, I think that, uh, as we have said in our last uh, report, uh, the main uh, responsibilities uh, uh, from the member states, not the UN, the UN is doing great, despite the absence of funds, uh, because the, the last uh, humanitarian uh, appeal, uh, they only get 25% what would be necessary, 5 billion, I think, only 25%. Then the great responsibility uh, is uh, of uh, the, the member states of the UN, not the UN. The UNICEF is doing great, the UNHCR is doing great, and uh, the, uh, the World um, uh, uh, Food uh, uh, Organization also is, is they, are, they are helping uh, those four million to survive. And of course, I must recognize also the general support of Turkey of Jordan and Lebanon. Lebanon. In Lebanon today, you have more Syrian children in the primary school than Lebanese children. This gives you a, uh, an idea of the seriousness of the situation. And also a destabilization of, uh, uh, in all this, Jordan, that is a very small country, and uh, suddenly uh, they have hundreds of thousands of uh, refugees spending a lot of money. I have a, a former colleague who was uh, 10 years director of UNRWA in Gaza, and uh, sh she thinks that the, the refugee camps in Turkey are first rate. Uh, we visit several. It's, it's amazing what Turkey is doing for, for the refugees. Uh, we have to do this acknowledgement that despite the involvement, uh, uh, there are countries uh, that are much better than Europe that are uh, accepting very few migrants, and now they are taking the boats. And, Hundreds of uh, uh, Syrian refugees are, are, are taking these boats to be uh, uh, refused the entry in the European countries. Uh, it's, a, it's a difficult championship of disaster because the first disaster was the invasion of the United States uh, based on lies of. Uh, uh, Iraq. Uh, I, I think that the uh, the the bombardment and uh, the invasion of of Libya was another disaster. Uh, basically, also because people try to to look at Syria and they were seeing Libya uh, in the beginning uh, of the of the intervention. Uh, and uh, the two countries are completely different. Uh, Libya, uh, 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 Gaddafi has destroyed the state, no army, no bureaucracy. It was a, a sham in terms of state. Uh, Syria, no, Syria, it was not a failed state. Uh, it was a very sophisticated, organized, authoritarian a dictatorship, but with some tolerance for the difference in terms of the, uh, the different uh, uh, communities or ethnicities. Uh, and, and then, uh, uh, but it, there was an illusion that in a few days uh, President Assad will fall. But no, not this week, but next week. And uh, a lot of people uh, uh, in many, uh, in some of the member states of the Security Council believe uh, in this illusion. And, and then uh, this uh, fed uh, the conflict. Do you uh, believe that the ICC? has had a positive or negative or what sort of impact on the possibilities of international conflict resolution? I, I must say you that I don't follow this very much because I am so much concentrated in Syria and uh, uh, I, I am not able to, to evaluate uh, what I, ICC uh, uh, did. Uh, in any case, uh, we have uh, uh, recommended several times that the case of Syria be uh, uh, brought to the ICC, but the, of course because of the crisis in Security Council this has not happened. I think the ICC was also one of the success of the human rights uh, situation. I, I, I think that was is a, is a formidable accomplishment in terms of uh, seeking accountability in the international community. But the precise uh, case that you mentioned, I, I'm not in a condition to elaborate. But I'm asking more specifically, to, and referring to the, the Syrian case, I mean, in terms of what are 
are we very limited to what we can negotiate because of the existence of the ICC? Yeah, yeah, that is. Uh, this is 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 is, uh, is a permanent question because. As the mandate of our commission is to monitor, to document the human rights violations, humanitarian law uh, violations also, uh, but also to identify perpetrators. Uh, of course, I, I, uh, at this moment of my life, I'm conscious that uh, you have a moment to make peace and you have a moment to, to have accountability. But uh, we can't say that let's wait a peace or the negotiation or the ceasefire and then one day we'll have accountability. Uh, I, it's very important to say if the case of Syria would have been brought to, to the ICC, very few people, uh, only in the high uh, positions of command, will uh, be brought to, to judgment in the ICC because it's uh, uh, for the thousands of uh, perpetrators, the ICC was not, will not be able. You have to wait for the national jurisdiction, something that we debate also at the tribunal, uh, that are much more flexible to, to, to seek uh, accountability. You know, I believe the, if the case uh, uh, of Syria would uh, have been brought to the ICC, I, I think it would be positive. I don't have any illusion about the terrorists. I, I don't think that the, the threat, I don't think that the threat that the ICC uh, will complicate uh, the, the political solution. Uh, I, 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 I don't think that the, the Assad people are afraid of that. They, they don't care. No, that is. Uh, that if you reach um, uh, a sort of ceasefire, because it will be always a limit ceasefire, I, I don't think that there, there will be conditions to mediation, but I think that at a certain moment of the process, uh, the, if you consider the, the so-called Geneva Memorandum that uh, uh, several steps, I, th I, I think that at a certain moment, it will be a complex mediation, but I, I think that will be a, uh, extremely necessary. Alvaro de Vasconcelos, that is a colleague of ours, he had uh, recently uh, um, wrote a paper uh, trying to uh, to think uh, the ways that this can happen. I, I that is, I would be very skeptical as uh, one of the first steps, but uh, I think that to be uh, necessary at a, at a certain moment of the the process of peace building and all that. I, I think that would be essential. I, I, I believe that.